Hi, I'm Greg from Motorsports Innovations, and today I'm going to show you how to download the latest version of RacePack Datalink and install it on your computer that has an older version. Uh, first, I'll show what the new version looks like. So, this computer does have one of the new versions. Uh, that's four point something. There are several versions in the four series. But the way to tell is if you have this read and write buttons on the toolbar. So this version, and you can get the exact version by clicking on help and go into about. So this is 4.2.0, which is a pretty good version, but we're going to upgrade to 4.3 point something. So I'm going to go into the internet with, uh, I use uh, Mozilla Firefox, which isn't quite on your screen, and I'll start a new tab and go to racepack.com which pop, pops up for me as soon as I put in racepack because I go there so often racepack.com loads up and we go to downloads click on that and the very first item in the download section is data link 4.3.2 so again I'm in Firefox so some of the screens that are going to come up will be a little bit different in Internet Explorer or Google Chrome, but each of them uh, I think will be self-explanatory. So click on that. We want to save this file. Okay, that download took about a minute and in Firefox this is the indicator that downloads are done and display recent downloads. So here is the data link 4.3.2 Uh, yes, we want to run it. We'll ask us a few questions about locations and we'll mostly take all the defaults. Next. Yes, we accept. Yes, we're going to take the default location. Ah, notice this. A previous version has been installed. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a special option here. We're going to choose in this option box data link update only. That way it will not erase our Sportsman or G2X configuration file. Click on Next, take the default folder, and the installation begins. This should just take a minute. And then we click on Finish with the default is to launch the new version. Okay, so now we'll check and see that what version, in fact, did get loaded. Yes, it is 4.3.2. So we have successfully loaded the new version, which will be helpful uh, for a lot of things, especially telemetry. Uh, it's great for me if I'm working with you and diagnosing a problem to have the latest version and in subsequent videos we'll be doing some things that the newer version will uh, uh, make it a lot easier uh, both for consistency and the software is a little easier to use for some of the function we're, we're going to do. So that's the download and installation of version 4.3.2 pretty easy to do just takes five or ten minutes even on a slow connection if you in fact have your laptop does not connect to the internet, give me a call and I will mail you, U.S. Mail, Post Office, Pony Express, uh, the CD for the latest version so you can install it that way. So if you have other questions, give me a call, 609-265-2110.